Hey guys, this is Versatile from Gain Studios. We got a really great tutorial series. It's probably going to be a three part series where the first video, this video, I show you what the heck this program is, this excellent Kai program, and how it can benefit you if you have a use for it. The second video, most likely, I'll show you how to use this program and um, connect your PSP online to play a game like Monster Hunter Portable third as an example and then the third uh, video tutorial will probably be showing you how to connect your Xbox original online and play some you know like Halo 2 frag fest so so this is gonna be the longest video of the series maybe and we'll see how things go I could do Xbox 360 but I don't have that console I could do a PS2 video but I can't do that because there's not enough PS2 players playing this online but if you have a PS2 if you want to play it online let me know let's work on a badass tutorial together so this is what we're gonna do first let's go to teamxlink.co Dot UK and you gotta register for an account so that's what I did already so that's fine now go to downloads and you don't have to be registered to download but you need to register for an account anyway so use the actual program which we'll get to later in today's video so now you click on download excellent Kai if you're using Windows or click on this drop down box and go ahead and download for your respective operating system download it and install okay so that's the first step now the second step is we have to set up our a network connections so let's go to control panel like so and for those who are curious I just use the launchy program now I go to network and sharing center and this is Windows 7 64 bit if you have a different OS I'm sorry but you can figure it out from the control panel they're all very similar so now you want to find something called change adapter settings now this is where it gets a little bit confusing maybe so on my computer my desktop computer I have two connections I have a wireless Ethernet card I take that back, a wireless USB dongle, and then I also have a um, built-in Ethernet port, which I use for connecting my console. If I'm using a PSP, I'm using a different method, this USB method, so I use my wireless um, card here, my wireless USB dongle to connect online and play it online. So the bottom line is, depending on what method you choose, it will dictate how you're going to do this. But the but just in a general sense, whatever connection you're using to connect your console or your handheld online, you want to make sure that that is the adapter that's connected to the internet or sharing internet connection. So for example, and I'm, I know this might be confusing, but just bear me out, listen it out, is here's my ethernet port. If I right click on here, go to properties, and let's say that I have a crossover cable from my desktop computer to the back of my Xbox console seems simple okay so I'm using this port here so what I do is I go to sharing and I click on this allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection it will say okay let's do that or you know I, I will enable it for you say okay and you say okay so that part is done now the next thing that we need to do is we also need to do a port forward of a 30,000 port so how do you do that right now I'll do I'll do a really 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 quick port forwarding tutorial but I have a full fledged video that shows you in more detail how to do a port forwarding so I'm going to log into my router real quick here I'm going to go to port forwarding and then over here we see that I have this port called 30,000 it's for, for both the TCP and UDP and I sort of named it for my uh, let me change this to my um, PC address right here 134 and press save now versatile I don't know what my IP address is for my computer don't worry about it please see the other port forwarding video I go through all the nitpicky details in there and you'll become a boss after you watch that video so let's assume that you already got your port forwarding set up perfect so we're done with step two step three is let's configure our excellent Kai program so let's do this um, I take that back we need to set up the shortcuts so if you go into your start menu and you go to like here start menu go to programs and go down to your excellent Kai and what I want you to do if you're especially a Windows 7 or a Windows Vista user you want to go to each of these three shortcuts right click them as an example so we'll do the first one go to properties go to compatibility set the compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2 and then run this program as an administrator and press OK. The reason why we want to do this is so that when you run the program, there's a possibility it might give you some error about some networking code thing. I forget what the exact error is. If you set it as XP Service Pack 2, that error goes away and life is good. So just do that and continue. So that's step three. Step four is let's configure the excellent Kai program. So we're going to do um, type this in. Um, configure Kai or you go through your start menu which is perfectly fine and this will come up in your web browser hopefully after that what you want to do is just set up these options like so you can leave this alone you can use standard GUI or you can use the web UI which is fine um, this you can leave alone and don't have to mess with that 
over here type in your username and password and then what I like to do is I check all these boxes you don't have to but I like to do it so I click on save and life is good okay so now the next step of the process here is let's start the program so let's go back go to start Kai and you can go through the start menu to do this too and what will happen is it'll bring up this user program like so now how do you know if you're port forwarding correctly right so if you click on this um, magnifying glass it says network reachable not yet don't worry about it give it like two minutes three minutes eventually you'll say yes if you have port forwarded now if you are waiting like five ten minutes and it still says not yet then I think you have to double check your port forwarding settings so we'll get back to this a little bit later now how do you use this program right so if you click on this globe here here's all the different on consoles and handhelds you can use. So all of these are compatible with the X-Link Kai program. So for example, if I were to click on Xbox, okay, so I click on this uh, green square with the white arrow, and I click on here for first person shooter, because there's a lot of people right now, 312 users, holy crap, that's a lot. Okay, so now we scroll down, and what games are people playing on Xbox these days? Uh, fortunately or unfortunately, people are playing a lot of Halo 2, which is sort of bad, because if you want to play some other games, then probably no one will come. And for whatever reason, there's a lot of people in Latin America. Don't be racist, so that's fine. So let's go to Latin America. And we'll go to this room here called Solo Retos. So click on here. And here on the left-hand side, these are all private arenas where people are actually hosting games and they're playing with their buddies or playing with strangers because, you know, they like to be promiscuous like that. On the right-hand side, there's a lot of people in the buddy list here, you know, all the guys in the lobby and, um, you know, just saying, hey, let's play one-on-one, two-on-two, whatever it's going to be. Down here in the bottom left, this is where you can set my arena status. So let's say that you are you want to join the game. Say, uh, how many players are here? Just me. Uh, am I hosting? Um, yes or no? So I'm gonna say this. Um, I want to join. If I go to one of these rooms here, for example, let's let's try this room here. Here's one room. This one guy is hosting. He's a moderator. So if I had my Xbox on, for example, I can join this game and start playing if he port forwarded correctly. Now the same idea can be used for any of the other different consoles. So if I go back here, I could do the PSP. I could do a GameCube. If I had a GameCube, PS2. Um, I don't know what a quarantine is. I don't know what special interest is. Uh, Xbox 360. So, and then now let's go back to the um, diagnostic mode. And yes, it says network reachable. Yes, yeah, so that means I can host a game. Sweet, because hosting is so much fun to do, especially with the Excellent Kai program. And then you could type messages here like, I am a boss. Oh my god, I'm going to get flamed for that. So, <laughs> so that is the Excellent Kai program in a nutshell. So let's go over the four steps real quick here. First step is download the program, install, make an account. Second step is go into your control panel and set up your internet connection, um, internet connection sharing. Third option is, or third um, solution is um, to update your properties in your start menu to make sure it says Windows XP Service Pack 2 mode. The fourth option is to configure your Kai program. And then the fifth option is to actually start the program and go online and start playing. So that is the, this is the, really the setup tutorial. It shows you how to download the program, how to get it set up, how to set up your port forwarding, and, um, and that's about it. So if you like this type of video, please like, favorite, and subscribe so that hopefully one day we can get to the front page of YouTube. Otherwise, if you got any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.